Ciao. So, Alberto, what, what are you passionate about? Photography, man. I would, I would go, I took two weeks of holiday just to do photographs around the buildings. Oh my God. Well, don't tell me. You are one of those guys going around with these uh, super expensive cameras and, and, and then clicking uh, everywhere and, and doing thousands of photos and, and then going home and then uh, organizing uh, all of them and then uh, having all the family and the friends, they have to sit there for hours watching and all those photographs until they're it's like a slow death, a slow agony. I mean, I, I cannot, I mean, I cannot, I, why, why guys like, uh, like you exist, I mean, with this thing and, and, and uh, you, you go there and, and impose it on the friends, on the family and uh, hours of boring stuff and exactly the same picture for 300 times, just with a different little color and, you are all getting roughed up and excited. Ah, look here, the yellow has come a little bit more to the gold and all the other people, they just want to die. They, they want to be crucified and Jesus, come on, Alberto. I was, I was expecting so much more from you, but I mean, you, you come out with, I, I thought something transcendent and, and, and you're passionate about, about this, this BS. I mean, I mean, this is crazy. This is out of this world. I mean, this is... Uh, unacceptable really I, I think uh, i don't know i don't know if we're going to speak after after this because I, I i thought that there was a friendship uh, uh starting there but uh well my gosh i mean i i would have preferred to learn that you were using drugs or uh, i mean other really but, but uh, come on i mean the, the passion in photography uh, no no no, no. It, it it looks you absolutely had a dreadful time watching through some guys go through their slides. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I had this guy in the family and uh, he was uh, he, he, my, my small brother, my little brother. And uh, he had this, all these big cameras taking up also a lot of space. Also when we were traveling, we, we had to give up some space because of all this bullshit. And, and they would travel a lot and then come home and my God, Jesus, I dreaded that moment because then uh, he would stay in his uh, in his room for, for hours and then he would come out and they said, I'm ready. And in the family, we knew what was going to happen. Jesus Christ, it was going to be a six hour evening of a uh, thousand and five hundred pictures or basically all of the same subjects with so slight nuance that only he could appreciate Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, Alberto, Man. really, you are, I mean, this is so disappointing. This is so fucking disappointing. I mean, I would have expected Man. anything, anything from you, but not come up with this BS. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I, it seems like you had such a dreadful lack of respect from your brother and he was thriving on the attention that he, he actually gathered for himself without even considering what the other people thought yeah and it, it went on for years it went on for years and we for knew years? right right yeah for, right after summer it was like that right after christmas it was like that right after eastern so every commanded holiday we knew we had to dredge our way through this agony. And I still, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it, this goes, it goes close to trauma. I wouldn't say it's trauma, but I mean, it's close to that because this is one black spot of my childhood. Black spot of your childhood? Yeah, because for the rest, it was a happy childhood. But if I mean, I, I still feel the anger and I, I and knowing that you, you, Alberto, are into this and you are doing the same stuff as my brother. You're doing, you're putting violence. It is psychological violence upon people, forcing them to sit for hours through your pictures. I mean, and here, I mean, I might be completely off, so please correct if anything, I'm, if anything is wrong here, but from what? You seem, from what I, from what I, I see, 
you seem really to be bothered by the lack of respect that you had of your own time and how imposing your brother was. And this really frustrated you because your, your time was not appreciated. And he, not just yours, but everyone, but no one had the opportunity to change him. So you felt like you were hammering with a, with a, gum, with a gum hammer against the, the Himalaya and expecting it to stop and expecting it to decrease. So it must have been frustrating. Yeah, super frustrating. Super frustrating, sitting there for hours and, uh, and a, a lack of respect for other people's time and for other people's freedom and from, for other people's uh, uh, different way of thinking and maybe different way of uh, feeling about the photography and all of this stuff. So the, the, there seems to be a really, really problem in other people being unheard because this guy was gathering all the space and all the time. So you guys basically were left with no, nothing to express yourself here. Yeah, it, it was like the, there was no choice. So it, no choice? it was, yeah, yeah. It, we, nobody could say, hey, listen, I, I, I can really sit through these. I, I have other things to do or could you please, uh, uh, can you please make a summary? Like we do 20, 25 minutes to just show us the most incredible shots and then we, we just go party and, and, and we, we stay together. We, we eat something, we drink, we do something else. But no, it was hours of sitting there in a semi-dark room with this uh, uh, with the old projector because at that time we didn't have all the, the tech that we have now, but we have all this thing with, with the... Uh, with the round thing and and all because uh, yeah. and and the, the little pictures going inside and so they would they would be projected and uh, Jesus I can still I, I still get uh, uh, chilled blood when I think uh, back of it yeah I mean it, it, it is it is absolutely frustrating not having the the ownership of your time and actually feeling that this guy didn't have a clue of how abusive he was of other people. And I mean, it's not like, it's a family time. If it was every commandated holiday, as you mentioned, it's like, this is a time where everyone, everyone can be with everyone. So maybe we can have, I don't know, a discussion on how granddad is doing about what is going on with your life. Maybe someone even brought the new girlfriend and no, this guy had to, monopolize the attention and he had to absolute bulldoze his way through the evening or through half, even half, even more. I mean, uh, it was, uh, it, it is frustrating and it is disrespectful. I mean, exactly, I, it, exactly, exactly. Uh, it was like stealing away time from other much more enjoyable and deeper uh, activities and interactions. So uh, get it to know um, the new girlfriend and uh, uh, sp speaking, having a good time uh, with your family and uh, talking and sharing about uh, several different subjects. I mean, the world is not only photography. There are many other interesting things we can talk about. So yeah, yeah it, it was like uh, it, a part of my childhood was stolen. In, in, in all those uh, unending hours of, uh, of projection. Which, which again, uh, we know that time is the only thing that you don't get back. So all these hours that he sold from you are hours that you could have had with your grandmother, grandfather, or, you know, anyone that unfortunately is no longer with us. And you can't get these hour back. You cannot, hey, you know, I have an hour that I want to spend with my granddad. And, no, it's gone. Exactly, and, and then and then I feel this regret, uh, and also that, that I um, I didn't stand up. I didn't spoke my truth. I now in hindsight, I I think I could have done something, and maybe maybe I could have also um, spoken for some other family members that were maybe feeling the same as I was. But since I didn't make up the courage and nobody else did. We, in order not to displease, 
my brother, we all uh, sit there, even if uh, maybe for most of us, uh, it was not such a pleasant uh, activity. Yeah, speaking your truth is, it seems to be important because it's also, maybe it's not just yours. So you would have channeled the feelings of other and that actually could have been a moment of reconciliation of the whole family instead of just submission to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think also, yeah, there's the, the regret, but also the feeling of having learned something important. So it will never happen again that uh, I will allow someone else to waste my time. So mm. I, I, I remember now and I will stand up if it ever happens again, uh, not only in this context, but in other contexts, if I'm I'm feeling there's some time wasting going on, then I can respectfully uh, bring it up and address it. And uh, maybe yeah. this, is, this could also be beneficial for uh, some, if not all, all, all of the other people involved. Yeah, that, that, that really seemed to be one key lesson that is never learned a day too late, addressing and having people respect your your side not just in bulldozing again their their will through your uh, through your time that that's really seem to be a great lesson and uh, it can be seen that you value it i mean you, you can clearly defend your time and you can clearly defend your attention which i think is something again that you have learned through a very bad experience and it's, it's deeply disturbing that you had to go through that. Yeah, I mean, th there's worse. I mean, there's much worse, but um, maybe for me, that, will, that one was a, a particular uneasy and difficult and painful situation that I had to endure over and over. And, and now that... Uh, it's over and I, I just keep the lesson uh, and let go of the regret. Um, I, I, I think I can see more clearly and I, I can use it at my advantage mm. and at other people's advantage in, in similar contexts. No, this is, I mean, this is great. Look, man, this, what you're doing here is really commendable because you have taken a bad experience, something that could fill you with rage and you could absolutely hate your brother and like, you're out of my life, please don't ever come back again. But you managed to distill the core and a lesson that you're taking on with you and also you're passing on. So this is absolutely amazing for you to do that. Thank you. Thank you for understanding, Alberto. And I think we could go on for hours. <laughs> and, yeah, no, uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, good and, job. Okay, so I'm gonna hit stop.